what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys um again just day in the life man day in the life facebook ads um landing pages sales funnels email automation day in the life whether i'm either training a client or i'm just doing stuff behind the scenes for my own accounts right and so i'm just creating a whole new ad account um whole new pixel whole new um whole new everything on the on the on the facebook business site to really start testing right really start 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 testing other sources other other lead strategies on Facebook, right? Going into and testing the lead form, going in there and 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 testing custom audiences and lookalike audiences. And so, what I'm doing here is just simply what I what I never really did here was put video on Facebook, like on my business page. For the past few years, I've been putting all of my video content, 100% of of pretty much long form tutorials, day in the life. So, if you're into Facebook ads, if you're into landing pages and building a business online, capturing leads online, you're definitely in the right place subscribe comment below stay in touch right because that's what i'm dropping over here just day in the life of of what i'm doing for clients or what i'm doing behind the scenes for my own accounts but um this is now as we go 2022 and and beyond on especially on the facebook platform on the instagram platform start testing assets on the platform start running lead form ads start testing um custom audiences and and, and putting more video on your facebook business page but actually creating the custom audiences um behind it which is what i'm gonna do right now so so again day in the life I thought I'd just share it with you guys and, and show you how I do it. So this is my own, you know, I have many different, many different accounts, ad accounts, ad manager accounts, but this is one of them. So I'm going to show you how I simply create these new audiences around, around these videos. So um, let's get started. So again, you guys, for the past few years, if you've been following me here on YouTube, really, again, that's where all my long form content has, has been placed right here on YouTube. But um now 2022 and beyond i'm going to be putting i'm going to be pretty pretty putting pretty much every video every video that i really put on 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 youtube i'll be putting that same exact video on my facebook business page and again just just prepping the back end which is the custom audiences right creating more assets on facebook on the actual platform to really leverage my custom audiences and and it really starts with video right you should be tracking those who are watching a percentage of your videos for sure so so if you're building anything on and, and you're actually you know putting yourself out there video put the video on facebook put the video on facebook and then again track the audience video and then and then obviously web page website tracking um lead forms if you're running lead form ads tracking those custom audiences of those that are clicking on your lead forms many different ways to create custom audiences which i'm going to show you right now but today we're going to go straight into video so now as i go on 2022 and beyond and start putting all these videos on my facebook business page right some of them some of them i'll be running ads on some of them i won't they'll just be they'll just be the same asset that you're seeing here on youtube but on the facebook business page to again expand and and expand my my reach but also build my audience right build my audience and that's what it's all about so whether this video is on instagram whether it's on YouTube. Um, here's what you want to do for sure. Okay, so hopefully your guys' business manager is set up, right? So, so what you want to be doing is, is stop boosting posts. Stop boosting posts. Stop running ads just through your ads manager. Set up your business manager. Run everything through your business manager. Um, in fact, you can only create custom audiences if you have if you if you set up your business manager so if you haven't set up there's a link in the description watch that video how to set up your business manager watch that video do that part first and then you'll be able to come over here and create these audiences okay so so the way i got here is i i had it bookmarked already but as you're in the business as you're in the in the in the background in the ads manager you can simply come to hit the three lines to the left and come down to audiences this is where where it'll take you as well this is where we're at right now so audiences is where i want to be and then as you click on the the blue button here create audience you're going for custom audience we don't want lookalike audiences just yet just yet and i'm going to definitely touch on these two here how how important this is so post Apple iOS update, post what everyone wants to say about, about Facebook traffic, conversion ads, whatever, all the above, as far as it declining or anything like that, it hasn't, man. Start testing, start leveraging other parts of the platform, start running lead form ads, start creating these custom audiences around video, around video. So again, if you're that brand or if you're that personal brand, if you're that person really putting out content, put out video, put out video. Um, um, and then again, man, come back here, 
and create the custom audience because because the the, the whole one thousand percent importance of this custom audience audiences of these custom audiences is 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 the fact that now not now but eventually i'll be i'll be i'll be turning those custom audiences into lookalike audiences and that's when you start running conversion ads even more to your lookalike audiences based on these custom audiences custom audiences of those who have been watching your content right so if i can say hey facebook here's a thousand people who watched this video go and find me a million more who look just like them. That's a lookalike audience. That's what you're, what you kind of don't hear when you're, when you're looking at all these damn Facebook video ads, tutorial ads on YouTube, all you guys are been watching on, on Facebook shit. Right. So it's like, it's like, once you really understand it, it's simple, dude. It's like, it's so freaking simple. It's simple. So, so, so in this case, what you're doing is you're, you're really just you're, you're, you're tracking, you're tracking everyone who watches your damn video. So let's just get started Let, before I even overwhelm you even more. Let's go here. Let's just simply a custom audience, custom audience, create audience. These are all the different sources, right? These are all the different sources of, of, of what you want to, what you want to, what you can, the ability you have, but 99% of you guys will only be going with website video and lead form actually yeah yeah those are the three those are the three because those are really you you can you can build and, and some of you will go after customer list but 99 percent of you guys 99 percent of you guys would be cre- will be creating custom audiences around website video and lead form okay so today again i'm i'm literally testing my own back end stuff right here right i'm gonna go with video so i'm going video and and again as i now start to put all these videos pieces on my Facebook business page, this is the next step. This is the next step. Make sure you're creating these audiences. So look, dude, these videos that I have over here are, 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 are again, long form, 34 minutes, 42 minutes. Some of you guys are like at one minute. That's fine. Two minute videos. That's cool. Whatever you guys have, man, whatever you guys have. Now, again, this applies this applies whether you're a local business owner or really nationwide or global or whatever. Like me personally, I can help people from all over the damn place, right? Some of you guys may only be servicing local people. If you're a real estate agent, you're, you're servicing local buyers and sellers, right? Of course, everyone's moving and you get people relocating here and there. But typically, your ideal client is that local, right? Buyer, that local seller, right? So, so in that case, you still want to create custom audiences, but, but I would really only create custom audiences around videos that you're actually going to, that, you know, for a fact, 1000% of the views, I don't care if it's 73 views or seven or 17,000, it doesn't matter. As long as you know that one damn near 100% of those viewers are your ideal client, then create an audience around it. Or unless you ran an ad on it, right? You ran an ad on it. So you know for a fact that the 3,000 views that you have on this one video is because you ran an ad and that was targeted, right? So now I'm going to create a custom audience around that targeted audience of those. Let's say it was a three-minute video. I would then come over here and I would make, a, I would make an audience. I would, I would tell Facebook, hey, man. All the people who watched, I would go 15 seconds, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. All the people who've watched it for at least 15 seconds, put them in this audience, right? And so I would choose video, right? I would make sure I click on here, go to my actual business page. So I would, I would, I would find whichever video that was, whether I ran an ad on that one, boom, I'm I'm coming over here and create an audience or whether I posted it organically. And I know for a fact that those are people in my ideal niche. Okay, cool. I'll create an audience, right? But 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 really, what you really what you really ultimately want to be doing again, unless you know one thousand percent of the people watched it, right? Those are all the views. One thousand percent your ideal client. Then okay, cool. Do this. Create the custom audience. But especially if if you ran a Facebook ad on it, especially one thousand percent. If you if you ran an ad on that video for sure 1000% follow my lead here. Okay, create this custom audience. Because again, I'm going to be able to, to to leverage this and show them more ads, show them more ads, show them more ads. And that's what creates that omnipresence. And that's what creates you gives you the ability to build a huge custom audience telling Facebook, "Hey man, these are people who 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 watched my video. These are people who clicked and went to my website." 
These are people who clicked and filled out the form. These are people who clicked and, and, and followed my Instagram account, right? These are people in this audience. Now I'm going to tell Facebook again, I'm going to take it a step further and create a lookalike audience. That would be another button that, I, that I'll show you to click on. But we clone it. That's what we, you can kind of look at it that way. If I gave you an audience of, let's just say, let's say 372 people. I gave you an audience of 372 people who watched this three minute video in 11 seconds for three seconds, right? There's an audience. I tell Facebook, hey man, here's an audience. Here's 372, that's a custom audience. Here's 372 who actually watched it for three seconds. Now go and find me a million more who look just like them. That's a lookalike audience. That's what you ultimately scale. That's when you come in here and run conversions and, 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 and crush the damn thing. Because now you're basic, you're targeting data, artificial intelligence data, algorithm data that, that these platforms have based on your ideal person, based on the person who actually filled out the form, the person who actually clicked on the website, the person, person who actually viewed it for three seconds, right? You're, you're, you're giving Facebook this data and saying, hey, man, go and find me more. Right. So 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 now now you're no longer really targeting a cold audience. You're targeting people who've actually who actually resembles your ideal audience based on based on this this data. Right. So so it's crazy, man. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create an audience because I ran an not, not really an ad, but just kind of a little little play around for one day and, and, and got that to, to 372. I'm going to create an audience around that one. Boom. Check that box. Hit confirm. Now I'm going to come over here and the retention, I'm actually going to drop it down. So Facebook's saying, hey, man, for 365 days, the people who viewed this video for three for 15 seconds in the past 365 will be in this audience. 365 is way, way too long, man. Drop that down. Drop that down to about 30. If you've watched that video in the past 30 days, you're in this audience. I'm going to retarget you and show you another ad. Right. 30 days is kind of is kind of a long time already. I don't even I don't even remember stuff I clicked on yesterday. Right. So 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 if I clicked on if I watched your video 29 days ago, it's like shit. Chances are I may not remember it. Right. But again, 15 seconds is a good amount of time. If you guys been here for 15 seconds, like it's like, dude, once you see another video from from me, you're going to notice me again. You watch that for only 15 seconds. You'll see a third video from me. By that time, you'll be watching it for 42 seconds, right? So it's like you're building on the viewership. You're building on the audience. You have to create these audiences. This is how now post this whole Apple iOS. This is how we now work around the algorithm and how we work around custom audiences and lookalike audiences and really still crushing it. Now leveraging the platform. Now fully leveraging the platform um, based on based on real activity. This is a video on the platform that they watched, right? So so I would go 30 days right here. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put video and and here's what you want to do on the audience's name audience audience names be as specific as possible. So that video, that video is actually this one right here. Build your list and YouTube channel. What? Right. Build your list and YouTube channel. That's what I would name it over here. Video. I would I would go build your list and YouTube. And I'll go video and, and, and I'll go 15, I'll go 15 seconds right there. Video 15 seconds. Okay. 30 days. Anyone who's watched that video is now in that audience. Now I can turn around, run another ad and target that audience. But what I want to do is, is at least build these audiences right here. It says below a thousand. I want it above a thousand. I want it above a thousand. I want these audiences right here, estimated audience size. I want it above a thousand. Right, I want it above a thousand. These are all below. This is a newer account, so these I haven't ran ads to these ones yet. I'm just setting up all the audiences. Set up all the audiences again based on if we go back and click the blue button, custom audience. You're 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 99 of you guys are either going to be basing custom audiences on websites, video, or lead form. Okay, you can always create an again if you're building a nationwide brand, a global brand, and and you got you know freaking. 37,000 people following you on IG. You got 370,000 people following you on IG. Okay, cool. And, and you got a global brand and you got something to sell to no matter who the hell comes to your profile. Yes, create an audience around that one. Create an audience around your Facebook page. If you're putting out a, a ton of organic content um, or even if you're running ads and you're building a global brand, 
then, then build an audience around your Facebook page for sure, for sure. And then custom lists, customer lists, customer lists, e-commerce. Those of you that are, that are, that are, that are doing deals, you're, you're making sales every day. People are going through your, your Shopify store, right? They're, they're purchasing a bag, a necklace, a hat, a shirt, whatever, a freaking cell phone case. You have that customer list. Take that customer list, upload it to Facebook, create a custom audience, just like I did here, right? We'll do one more video, video again create a custom audience. And then, and then again, once you have these numbers above a thousand, you turn around and create a lookalike audience. So let me create one more video. We'll hit video. We'll hit the drop down. We'll go 15 seconds. We'll choose the video and we'll just go with, we'll just go with any of them. These are all new accounts. Um, I'm now just starting to put video up on this page. We'll take the retention down to 30 days and then audience name. Um, which one was that? Which one was that? That was. Uh, Everybody's okay. I got two questions for you. That was, shit. Which one was that, dude? Um. Okay, so. People. Let's edit. Let's check this one more time. It was okay. So how to run a Facebook ad? How to run? How to run? How to run Facebook ads to a landing page? Okay, cool. So confirm, how. Right there, bam. Okay, landing page, and then I'm gonna go, and then I'm gonna go um, video, 15 sec seconds. Video, 15. Oh, I can't, oh damn, I ran out of characters. Okay, so how to run to a Facebook video, whatever. I know they're 15 seconds. I know they're 15 seconds, create audience. That's, that's audience, right, done. Once I do that, you guys, once I do that and I warm up the account, the very first Facebook ad should be your like ad, right? It should be a like ad. It should be a like ad. Take your take your likes on your Facebook business page to a few thousand. Run a Facebook like ad to warm up your account. And then run, run some reach ads. So as you come over here, click the three lines, go to ads manager. You click this green button to start your ad, right? You click the green one. And then you come over here, you can go awareness, traffic, engagement, leads. Your very first ad should be engagement page likes, right? Once you go in, you could, you'll see page likes, engagement, page likes, very first ad. After that, after that, put out some videos, put out some videos targeting a local area. If you're a local business owner, again, if you're global, then, then, then shit, target everyone, target multiple countries, right? Um, if you're local, if you're local, start running some local targeted Facebook ads, Instagram ads, run, run awareness, for a few ads, maybe, maybe two, three ads in the next 30 days under awareness, put about 10, 15, $20 a day, run awareness for reach for reach and just, and just start introducing yourself, pulling out your cell phone, introducing your business, right? Introducing yourself as, 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 as a sales agent or a professional, you're a local realtor, you're an insurance agent, you're a, a chiropractor, you're a local dentist, you own a restaurant, you own the local coffee shop, whatever, dude, pull out your phone, introduce yourself, run awareness, run the like ad first engagement. And then after that, run awareness a few times, create the custom audiences, create the custom audiences. And it could be image ads for sure. You can run, you can run image ads as well. But here today I showed you a custom audiences around video, around video. That's what you ideally want to be, want to be doing. But if you put out an image ad, if you put out an image ad, um, and, 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 and I'm telling you go for awareness, under reach. Okay. Um, maybe put out some images, test that as well, but it's all about creating the audiences. So you're either going to create these audiences around, around the videos that you're running under awareness for reach. Um, you're going to create the audiences around website. If you're running images, maybe you're driving the click to a website, create an audience around that website, a custom audience, right? So, so these are, these are, this, this is the basic strategy for the first, let's just call it 30 to 60 days. After you after you've gathered enough data in these custom audiences, it's all about the custom audiences, man. It's all about the custom audiences. It's all about the custom audiences. After you've created enough data, right? You're above a thousand um, in these custom audiences. You then you then come over here, hit the three lines, go to audiences. You then create a lookalike audience around those custom audiences okay so let's say for example this is my all website visitor sam if i wanted to create a lookalike audience i check that box i click the three lines right here 
create lookalike. So I'm going to tell Facebook, hey, dude, here is, that's why I don't want to do it yet because it's below a thousand. I need these, I need, I need it over a thousand. Um, once I start running some ads, that'll be over a thousand freaking overnight, like by tomorrow, like, right. But, but until then I'm cutting this video when I'm, when it's below. So I'm not going to do it, but that's how you do it. You just freaking click the damn box or check the box, click this, create lookalike. And, 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 and Facebook will then take that audience and go in, and go and find a million more people, a million more people that resemble them. So now you're now, now you're telling, telling Facebook, man, here, here is your data. Go find me more. They already have the data. So it's like, dude, this is how you work around this whole custom. It, it, yeah. People, can't be tracked as much as they, as, 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 as before, right. On this Apple with these apps, it's like, dude, if you have an iPhone, like some of you guys are opting out of these ads, right? So that's where it's being affected. Taking that click off of Facebook, taking that click to a landing page and relying on the pixel data or relying on the custom audiences of the website, right here. I'm saying, dude, keep it on Facebook, track the data of the videos, track the data of the lead form, Right, create these custom audiences, and then boom, turn around and create lookalike audiences, and start scaling that. Right, start targeting lookalike audiences as you go through and, and click three lines and go to the ads manager, and you click the three the 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 green the green button, and you create that ad. Start running conversion ads, which would be, which would be um, lead ads, right. This is this is bottom of the funnel. This is now when we when we have enough data where we took our custom audiences, we created lookalike audiences. Now we're running lead ads, conversion lead ads, um, or even lead form ads, um, either one. But that's when you're that's when you're now scaling that and targeting 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 lookalike audiences with, with this being the objective. Okay, guys. So again, if you're new, man, subscribe. Uh, my name is David. I'm out here just dropping content, day in the life, Facebook ads, landing pages, sales funnels. So you're definitely in the right place if you're trying to build something online. Um, drop your boy a comment, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.